it for my family. Me I do it for my friend them. Me I do it for the North Coast. What did you learn in my beer? hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl's have exquisite and today we're going to make some cheesecake jackfruit cheesecake so this is my cream cheese this is my biscuit that i am going to make my crust some cornstarch two eggs some every cream i am also going to use some vanilla some milk sugar and this is my measuring cup and my scale that I will be using and my mixing bowl also this is my jackfruit now I'm going to start off by stewing my jackfruit with just a quarter cups of water and a tablespoon of sugar now I'm going to mix this and go in with my jackfruit and I am going to put this to stew for five minutes now after stewing this you want to set this aside to cool so while this is cooling i am going to work on my cheese cake butter now let's get started now i am going to go in with one and a half pounds of cream cheese and one cup of granulated sugar i am now going to cream the cheese and the sugar together until it's fluffy and you want to cream this for about five minutes we are going to start off on a low speed Going to cream this until everything is all dissolved now we are going in with our cornstarch and this is two ounces of cornstarch to mix this for a minute after mixing we are going to go in with our eggs and we are going to add the eggs gradually after adding our eggs we are going to just turn this up a little bit so the egg can come together with our mixture Now what we are going to do, we are going to scrape the bowl just to ensure that everything is cooperated. Now we are going to go in with one tablespoon of vanilla. I love vanilla so I put a little bit more in my cheesecake. Now we are going to go in with one tablespoon of J. Rene Fuse Rum and I am going to add my lemon zest. Now I am going to go in with my heavy cream and my milk and I am going to put this to mix on low speed. We are going to mix this until everything comes together. Everything is combined, we are going to turn this off and now we are going to move on to our jackfruit. I am going to put this to blend until everything blends right out and it's looking smooth. Now this is the texture we are looking for. We are going to just add this to our cheesecake and we are going to put this to mix until our jackfruit is combined with our cheesecake butter. After mixing our cheesecake, this is how the butter should be looking. Now we are going to move on to our crumble. Now I am going to use my rolling pin to beat this until my biscuit is all crumbled right out. And this is the texture that we are working with. I am going to use some melted butter now just to mix with my crumble so that I can have a firm, a firm crust for my cheesecake. now i am going to add this into my baking pan i am going to use my finger to distribute the crumble around the pan so that i can have an even crust now after finishing this is how your crust should be looking now i am going to pour my cheesecake into my pan
I am now going to use my spatula just to smooth the top of my cheesecake. My next step is I am going to add some foil paper to protect my cheesecake from getting wet whenever I am steam baking it. And I am using the steam baking process. Now this is the finishing look of my cheesecake after cooling for about 8 hours. And the top is quite firm and look at this guys it is looking very lovely now I'm going to use some whipped cream to do a simple cake decoration with some cherries I am NOT going to add any filling because you know it's a jackfruit cheesecake and you don't want to kill the taste of the jackfruit use by using filling so this is the finishing look I am going to slice a piece of this just to show you what inside looks like look at this now the inside is looking perfectly fine guys please do me a favor please remember to like share comment subscribe and hit that post notification bell bye